Hi everyone, we're going to find two non-negative numbers, x and y, whose sum is 100, so something like that, and which the um, x, and for also when x squared y is a maximum. So I'm going to set that to equal p equals x squared y, and we want to, our goal is to maximize p. So we're going to have to eliminate one of the variables. Um, so what we can do here is solve for y. So y equals, um, let's see, 100 minus x. So then if you do that, you can substitute uh, p equals x squared times y, which is y is 100 minus x. So we're going to solve for x here. And then we can find y, but and and if you distribute, you get a hundred x squared minus x cubed. And then we're going to take the derivative of p. So basically, we have um, p equals one hundred x squared minus x cubed, and to take the derivative of p. With respect to x, you get 200x minus 3x squared. Now, set the derivative equal to 0. So we're going to get, um, I'm going to factor out an x, and that gives us 200 minus 3x. And then, so if you set this to 0, we have x equals 0. And for this piece, we have 200 minus 3x equals 0. So 200 equals 3x. So x equals 200 divided by 3. You use a calculator, that's approximately 6. T6.667. Remember, they on the AP exam, they like you to round to three decimal places. All right. Now we can use the second derivative to find the maximum. So the second derivative is going to be 200 minus 6x. And for it to be a maximum, which is what we're looking for, we want to find um, our second derivative needs to be negative. Okay, so a maximum means it's going to be like that. And um, it's this, the gradient is going down, so it's a negative gradient. So we need a negative number. If you plug in 0 here, you know that's going to be positive. So what we want to plug in is this. Uh, we're not going to use that because that would give us a minimum. A minimum, remember, is it, uh, the curve changes and starts going positive here. All right, so that would be a positive. So let's plug in this number, and if we plug in that, the second der derivative is negative. This number is negative. So therefore, P is a maximum at x equals 66.667. Now all you have to do is to solve for y is plug it back in. And if you have um, that, you're just going to get x plus y equals 100, I believe. So our x is 66.667 plus y equals 100. And therefore, if you solve for y, you're going to get 33, approximately, 33.333. And that's how you solve. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.